So it's a little windy over here. It's not exactly where we wanted to record. We wanted to get more of the pool, but we got other people that live here at this condo too. We've got a lot of pool shots too, to be honest. We really have. Like I am kind of a sucker for pools. <laughs> Pipping that pool out. So anyway, we've been here for two months and uh, we thought we'd go over five things we loved about Thailand. And then we're gonna have a second video and it's gonna be the five things we disliked about Thailand. So we were gonna start with the five best things in Thailand and we're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Starting with number five, one of the best things in Thailand, not right now because that bird's annoying me, is the wildlife and the scenery. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's trying to do an impression of that bird right now. But the wildlife here is amazing. We've seen some really cool animals. We've seen Waterfalls. Waterfalls, mountains everywhere, like lizards everywhere. Jane gets annoyed because like every time I see a lizard I have to like catch it. This is Bob. What I caught? Ooh, mean ass fence lizards. I have completed my mission. Yeah, I've been like that since I was a kid and I caught like a big tokay gecko. Well he's not that little, as you can see, but it's a tokay gecko. The funny part was is the tokay gecko actually when I would when I released it, I had Janine record it. And the gecko yeah. chased Janine. You ready? I guess so. Oh! <laughs> she's right there. It tried to eat my toe. <laughs> anyway, so the scenery is amazing. We get to see something new every day. But like, it's just cool being here, right? Northern Thailand is very scenic. You have the mountains, all the different wildlife, waterfalls. It's nice. You see like a different, or like a range of topography, except like in the south in Bangkok. You see buildings yeah. <laughs> in the occasional park, but that's about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well the next thing, number four would be, and it's weird, uh, I actually consider one of the best things about Thailand is the language barrier. Because, I don't know about you, but for me, having to actually put effort out in every single conversation makes it yeah. more intimate and more... Challenging. More challenging, and you're also getting a really good back and forth with the people, and you learn more about their culture in that way. Now, if they spoke perfect English here, I'd feel like I was getting the short end of the stick because I might as well stay at home. Or be on a cruise where everyone speaks English. You yeah. want to be challenged, you want to step out of your comfort zone, and it forces you to learn some words and phrases, which is helpful. Anyway, number three uh, cost of living here is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but not exactly as you would think. I'm actually gonna do a video later about the cost of living here in Thailand. And the reason I'm doing that is it can be amazingly cheap, mm -hmm. but it can be amazingly expensive as well. You can easily spend more here than you did in America. And oh, yeah. we're about to pause the video for a sec because there's a plane coming. Anyway, so cost of living in Thailand can be cheap. Like the apartment we're staying at has, as you've seen, a rooftop pool, workout area, library, and a nice size apartment, and it's only 471 US a month, and that's not bad. For about the same apartment in Houston, Texas, it would be about 1200 a month, something like that? 1000 to 1200 1200 in the suburbs, but in Houston, like 2000 to 4000 In the nice uh, areas, in yeah, the nice areas. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's whatever you make it. If you want to save money and you hold yourself to a budget, you will save money in Thailand. You can literally eat every single day for about a dollar a meal. That still is here. Mm -hmm. The problem comes around when you make friends and your friends <laughs> want to go out or you want to go out and do something and a lot of the places yeah. that are more catered towards tourists are expensive. It can be pretty pricey if you get to that point. Mm -hmm. So it's where you are. If you're in the Nimon area, make some effort to kind of go to the side streets to exactly. get the better local prices or go to Old Town or near Central Festival um, in the north. Number two on our list of the best things in Thailand, oh my god, the food. <laughs> so many choices. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Thailand, if nothing else, for the food, I swear. Like, you eat so good and like... For so little. That feels good! Texas we'd go out to a meal just a cheap meal like like just the cheapest lunch we could find it was like five dollars at Subway yeah the cheapest lunch at a restaurant here is literally under a dollar that we saw for 20 uh, 25 which is about and I'll you up too. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then like it's the food just awesome like we did a Thai cooking course and that's gonna be put up pretty soon and if you're seeing this video and it's already up it's because of 
I'm not that good on continuity yet on just putting stuff out in order. I'm still <laughs> learning, please forgive me. But, never mind, don't forgive me, deal with it. But uh, the food is amazing. And like, we, what, what's your favorite food since you've been here? I love green curry. Green curry is delicious. Um, really a little bit of everything. You are, one of your favorite sauces is mango sticky rice. Mango, ooh, mango sticky rice is good. And then the coconut soup Oh is my gosh. Delicious. We learned how to make coconut soup at that cooking class, and I swear to you, as soon as I... It's just amazing. It's so fresh. It's so good. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. But my favorite so far, like, just not cooking ourselves, but going to a place... Honestly, there's two places. Now there's three. I just forgot. Okay, there's three. Okay, I'm going to go through this. One, at the Maya Mall downstairs, there is a Chinese duck noodle soup place and I go there every chance I get because they give you huge portions and it's just really really good excellent balance of flavors second favorite would be the larder cafe now that's oh, more yeah. touristy and every time we go there we spend about 15 to 20 bucks so it's higher in it's brunch it's real brunch <laughs> but the uh, third one I would say is that when we t went with Josh and Jamie it's called I don't even know what it's called Oh, I totally have it on my Instagram. We see. Anyway, <laughs> it's over there by the CMU, which is the Chiang Mai University. There's a night market that's out by there, and it's on a side road. It's just this little place, and they serve like five-star meals. And it's like 60 baht, 70 baht, 80 baht, and it's just, that's ridiculous. That's like $2, $3 for like a four-star plus meal, and it's like really good. So. so good. It's fresh, and they played it very nicely. Exactly. Like it's five-star uh, restaurant like you said yeah. and last but not least of course because it's number one is my, uh, my favorite thing and the best thing about Thailand and Chiang Mai especially is the people people like the culture here is awesome I mean you're gonna have negative experiences with some people because not everybody's gonna be on the same page mm -hmm. but like honestly Thailand's called the land of smiles for a reason like people are awesome here that's the five best things we found about Chiang Mai. If you visited Chiang Mai, please let us know what you think. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, share this video. If you really like it, check out our Patreon account because your support is what keeps us traveling, plus the fact that we are working online and trying to make an income. But I'd like to buy some new gear so the vlog gets better and better as we go. But um, anything you want to say about Chiang Mai that you'd like to f finish off this one with? Definitely, it's a great digital nomad hub but is it, other than that it's great for networking you meet people yeah. every day like you're not even expecting to meet people but you meet people you talk to them meet a lot of local people who can show you around their city and they're proud of their city and you discover things you wouldn't have found on your own or not with TripAdvisor so it's like meeting people being afraid to be open and speak to people is really important and that's how we got some of our best experiences in Chiang Mai. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I guess to close off, the end of the video could be this. Make sure you step out of your comfort zone because if you stay in your bubble and you stay in your condo all day or you stay at the touristy spots, you're not really experiencing life. You're not really experiencing the culture. You're not really experiencing the place. You can do that at home. Mm -hmm. If you traveled here, especially if you came from the States like we did, you're on the opposite side of the earth in a foreign country. Get out of your comfort zone and go explore while you got the chance. But anyway, <laughs> we'll catch y'all later. Bye.